So you're here for a story. Okay. Almost every week you hear the women on news media say, me too. I was abused too. Somebody abused me or hurt me or harmed me in some way 20, 30 years ago, whatever. And they demand justice for it now and revenge. They want to destroy somebody's life. Yeah, they want to destroy somebody's life. Well, I'm here to tell you now. Yeah, you be good. You be good. Now, I'm here to tell you that a, uh, a woman, most of 20 years ago, I was at a birthday party for a man that was 75. She and her husband sat beside me. And she had a heavy accent, and she said she was from Germany. And I asked her if she happened to be over there during the war, and she said she had. And I said, I'd sure like to hear your story, if you don't mind. And she said World War II got going, and, and her father and her brother were killed immediately. And so she and her mother and her sister, they went to Berlin, got an apartment there, hoping that would be the safest place to be. All the bombing raids and everything was nothing short of insane. But then the Russians came. And when they went through that city, a bunch of Russians busted into their apartment. Her mother, and she was 16 at the time, and her sister was 12. She said that over the next many hours, she said about 50 men used her mother right beside her in the same room, and they used her, about another 50 men on her. But she said most of them wanted to use that 12-year-old girl, that 12-year-old German girl is what they really wanted. She said she figured easily 150 men had that poor little 12-year-old girl. You bet. And that girl was never the same. The young lady, she said, I am do anything I have to to get out of Germany. And so she fraternized, is the technical term, with the American troops that she got on that side. And it was against the law, but she did it. And she found one that would marry her, and did. Brought her back here to southwest Nebraska. They tried farming for a couple of years, and that didn't work. And so then they uh, went to Denver. Now, he was pretty good at just odd jobs, so he started a contracting business, one-man operation. When he retired, he had 120 people working for him. But she just didn't sit home and feel sorry for herself and have maybe a few children, hardly. No. What she did, she started a beauty salon. One man operation for her too. And in no time, in no time, she started building up. And when she retired and sold out her business, she had nine salons in Denver. Both of them, in their own right, were multi-multi-millionaires. And so, after she told me that, I said, well, for sure you got to hate the Russians for what they did to you. And she said, no. She said, not a bit. She said, the German people did worse to them. So she said, that's part of war. But she said, the key is to not let it destroy tomorrow for you or for her. And so she forgave them and went on down the road to make the best of her life. I think the women of today could learn from that woman. Perhaps we all could. About letting go and finding out what tomorrow, you know, is in store for us and make the best of it. Thank you for your time.